Angela here. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to use pizza dough four different ways. I have expressed my love for store-bought pizza dough in my previous video, my homemade pizza video. I'm going to link it down below. There is absolutely nothing wrong with buying store-bought pizza dough and most grocery store most grocery stores offer pizza dough um my personal favorite is trader joe's um it's really affordable it comes large volume of it it's i don't know i've tried the whole foods one i feel the trader joe's has much more um airiness to it i don't know this is just my favorite one so i bought four bags all i do is win to share to you guys four different ways you could use pizza dough for other recipes. You don't have to make pizza with pizza dough and that's the fun thing about cooking. It's really easy. I really suggest just buying some pizza dough, um, keep it to the fri keep it in your fridge throughout the week whenever the expiration is and you'll have a meal. Let's get it, let's go guys. Let's make some recipes with pizza dough that aren't pizza, shall we? So the first recipe I want to do is more of a savory um, Asian fusion thing. Um, there is these steamed pork buns. They're called baos in Chinese. Did you know you could do a steamed crispy bun with pizza dough? No, you didn't. Let me show you how I start. Okay, so I have my pizza dough. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do about um, with pizza dough filling so or pizza fillings I have pizza sauce mozzarella and I have some pepperoni I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna like make this like little mixture that you're gonna fill your bowels with so I'm gonna take a I'm gonna put your pepperoni in some of your pizza sauce your cheese all perfectly together when we steam them it's gonna be so good our dough Pretty even, yeah, look at that. Okay, you wanna take your mixture, look at all that cheese. Okay, and then you wanna just do this, okay? Just keep wrapping it, wrapping it. Keep going, okay? And then, once you have all those corners tucked, you wanna twist it, like, so, they're not perfect, but you get the, it kind of has that bow. So I have a huge nonstick pan. Generously oil buns. I'm gonna make sure that the bottom is covered with the oil. All right, and now you wanna turn on the heat. And throughout the cooking process, you kind of wanna just keep moving them, make sure they're not sticking. Now before we start the whole steaming process, you wanna make sure the bottoms have browned already. So, all you have to do is lift one up. Look at that. I had to get a lid. Okay, so now that the browning's been done, you wanna add some water to it. I actually have some hot water and like maybe a tablespoon of flour. Um, it's basically a flour slurry. I don't know why. I just saw this done on a video and I'm just copying what they did. So this is what they do, I guess. I just want to cover it. Whew. So here is recipe number one, is our pizza bowl. And you can see it's fluffy and the bottom is nice and toasted. Oh, you hear that crunch? Oh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. It's really good. What a fun way to use pizza dough. Okay, next, let's switch it up. Second recipe, let's make some dessert. 
So for dessert, I have some melted butter. I have my pizza dough all rolled out. And I'm gonna brush this butter on the pizza dough. Can you guess what I'm making? B liberal. B, B, B liberal. A, B, B liberal. B liberal the butter. A, I need to shut up, 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 A. I have a mixture of cinnamon, brown sugar, and orange zest. If you guess cinnamon rolls, you win! Nothing, you were right, that's it, that's all you get. Okay, so we're gonna cut these. See, there is the swirl we all know and love. Okay, bada bing. I'm actually gonna brush the tops of these. Oh, oh. So hot! Why am I even bothering with this? Mm. So next, we're gonna be making garlic knots. And these are great little appetizer, um, side dish things. So you wanna take some dough, like this, like that. And you wanna, so this is really fun to get a lot of people in the kitchen with. Cause it's super easy. It's like playing with Play-Doh like you were a little kid. And the reason why they're called garlic knots is because you're literally going to tie them in a knot. And again, you can do whatever shape you want, and that's it. That's what they look like. So while the garlic knots are baking, I have some butter right here, and I'm going to sprinkle some powdered garlic. And I like when it comes to covering things in garlic, I really do like using the powdered form because it has such a concentrated garlic flavor. And then this stuff, guys. The 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's has all the spices you really need. It's amazing. It has onions, pepper, marjoram, basil, thyme, rosemary, and other stuff in it. So this is really yummy. It smells so fragrant. And once the knots are out of the oven, you just want to literally dunk them. They look like little mushrooms. <laughs> Finally, but not least, the last recipe. And this recipe allows us to leave the dough in the bag. And you're probably wondering, you're not rolling anything out? What are you making? Get this, donut holes. Yeah! So we, that was such, yeah! Um, yeah, you could make, you could, fry pizza dough into making them into fluffy little donut holes. And this is not even much of a recipe, honestly. You're literally gonna be doing this. We're gonna be you know, sticking our hands in. Roll it out with your hands, no flour needed. And that's it. And we're going to drop it in some oil. Here I made some cinnamon and sugar. And we're gonna put our little pizza dough donut holes in the cinnamon sugar. And that's the final fourth dish. Cinnamon sugar donut holes, and I have some chocolate ganache that I made. Look at it. Wow! I mean, how could you say no? So let's give it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed these four recipes. I thought this was fun to be just a little extra creative today and for you guys to go out there and try your own recipes. If you have any other recipes with pizza dough that I didn't make today, comment down below, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like to this video if you like food like this or well, just me. 
I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.